boring naman. Kaya magandang gawin. Tama nun, dala ako ng TV. Ano kaya magandang palabas na yun? What is price? Price is the amount of money charged for a product or services or some of the values that customer exchange for the benefit of having or using the product or service. In short, price is the amount a business has charged its customer for its product and services. Price is very important because it is a key strategic tool for creating and capturing customer value because price have direct impact on firm's bottom line. Also, price plays a key role building customer relationship. Nag-igor ka, ngunit kulang. Pawi ka na bang sabong pampaputing ginamit at umiiyak na ang iyong wallet? Subok ka ng perla. Oo nga, ang pera ay pampaganda, pampakinis, at pampaputi. At kung wala kang kwarta, pwede ding panglaba. Perla, sabon ng mga artista. Isa na si Daniel Padilla. Presyong abot kaya. Perla! Ang susunod na programa ay Rated PG. Ito ay nangangailangan ng patnubay at gabay ng magulang para sa mga batang manunood. The views and opinions expressed by the host do not reflect that of the store and its management. Furthermore, the views and opinions expressed by the guest do not reflect that of the host, the show, the store, and the network. So for tonight's show, we will be identifying the three major pricing strategy such as customer value-based pricing, cost-based pricing, and competition-based pricing. With our three guests, I'm so excited na ipakilala sila sa inyo kasi for sure matutuwa kayong makita ang mga star na ito. So let's start with Nadine Lustred. Hi Tito Boy, I'm so honored to be your guest for today. Hi din na din Lustred, you look so beautiful always ha. So let's get straight to the point. For the first pricing strategy, may we ask for some information about it? So ayun nga, the value-based value pricing is customer-focused pricing, meaning companies base their pricing on how much the customer believes the product is worth. In short, value-based pricing is a strategy of setting prices primarily based on a consumer's perceived value of a product or service. There are two types of value-based pricing. First type, good value pricing, which is offering the right combination of quality and service at a reasonable price. And the second, value-added pricing, which is attaching value-added features and function to differentiate and offer thus to supporting higher rates. For example, a coffee shop in company A charges twice as much for a cup of coffee than their competitor. While in company B, therefore, the customers are willing to pay the extra money for the perceived value and quality of the coffee. Hmm, I've learned so much about consumer-based pricing because of your explanation. But then, let's move forward for our second guest, we have Ann Kutis. Hi Ann Kutis, talaga namang napakagandang yung Kutis ha? Sana all. Anyways, what is the second major pricing strategy and what is it all about? Hello, Tito Bart, sa mga nanonood sa atin. Ang next pricing strategy is cost-based pricing. Cost-based pricing is setting prices based on the cost of producing, distributing, and selling by the product, plus a fair rate of return for the company's effort in risk. So, cost-based pricing is one of the pricing methods in determining the selling price of the product. And isa ito sa pinakamadaling way kung paano i-calculate ang magiging presyo ng isang produkto. 
So we have types of costs. First is fixed costs or also known as overhead. It is a cost that do not vary with any level of production or sales. So, ito yung mga fix na binabayaran ng isang kumpanya. For example, sa isang small restaurant, um, kailangan nilang bayaran kanilang renta monthly, quarterly, or yearly, regardless of the number of the customers they have. And also, ibang example nito ay sa mga salaries and interest ng isang company. And the next one is variable cost. Variable cost is a cost that vary directly with any level of production. So, for example, sa isang variable cost is sa isang clothing manufacturing facility, ang kanilang variable cost na binabayaran doon ay ang kanilang raw materials like yung tela na kanilang ginagamit or sa mga binabayaran nilang mga manggagawa. It is called variable cost because the total varies with the number of units they produce. And lastly, the total cost. It is the sum of the fixed cost and the variable cost with any level of production. So, kailangan nila ng total cost para malaman nila kung magkanong presyo ang i-charge nila sa isang particular product. And doon nila malalaman kung may profit ba sila sa presyong ito at makikita din nila kung nabawi ba nila ang ginamit nilang production sa isang product. So, the next is cost at different level of production. So, management need to know how it costs vary with different level of production. For example, suppose to Gibi build a plant to produce 1,000 shoes per day. The unit cost of producing 2,000 shoes per day will be lower than the unit cost of producing 1,000 shoes per day. So, meron tayong short run average cost curve and if Kibi produce few shoes per day, the cost is high. Pero kapag si Kibi na produce ng mas marami per day, the average cost is decreases because fixed cost is spread over more with unit. Pero na decrease ito dahil ko konti ang fixed cost. We have also long run average cost. If Kiwi could produce 2,000 shoes per day, he need to build a larger plant. Next is cost as a function of production experience. Experience curve or learning curve, the drop in the average per unit production cost that comes with accumulated production experiences. A downward sloping experience curve ay importante sa isang kumpanya dahil dito mo makikita ang unit of cost will fall. And it will fall if the company will make and sell more during a given time of period. Experience curve pricing have some risk. So the more the aggressive the price, the more the product will be a cheap image. Moreover, we have two types of cost-based pricing. The cost plus pricing and the break-even pricing. The cost plus pricing or also called markup pricing adding standard markup on the cost of the product. So to find the unit cost, the formula is variable cost plus fixed cost divided by unit sales. And to find the markup price, the formula is unit cost divided by 1 minus desired return on sales. So next is break-even pricing or variation called target return pricing. It is setting price to break even on the cost by making or marketing a product or setting price to make a target return. So the price of the product is determined by its production, manufacturing, and delivery without a mark. So the break-even volume formula is fixed cost divided by price minus variable cost. So, the difference between the value-based pricing and cost-based pricing is the value base uses buyer's perception of the value as the key to pricing. On the other hand, cost-based is often product-driven. Oh, I see.
Uh, so, wag na nating patagalin ito. Let's hear from Cartri Bernardo, the third major pricing strategy, which is the competition-based pricing. Let's give her a warm welcome of applause. Thank you. So without further ado, the third pricing strategy is a computation-based pricing. So this pricing method or pricing strategy is all about on how we put prices on our products. This pricing method involves setting your prices in relation to the prices of your competitors. So parang ang mayayari is magsiset ang company ng price para sa product niya Pagkatapos niyang mag-observe ng competition or pagkatapos niyang makita yung prices ng kanyang competitors. So basically, dito sa competition-based pricing, you need to understand how the, top, how the top competitors in your market are pricing their product. And kailangan mo din i-consider yung expectations ng mga customers sa product na yun. For example, si company A, bread ang product niya. Then si company B, biscuits. Kunwari si A, nakapag-set na siya ng price niya which is 50 pesos per pack. So, ang gagawin naman ni B ngayon, i-observe niya si A, specifically yung price ng product ni A. So, since magkaiba sila ng product, syempre, kailangan i-level ni B yung price niya kay A para may benta niya din yung product niya. So, in this kind of pricing, you're not only focusing on the price itself. Kailangan mo pa din i-consider yung quality and sat satisfaction na makukuha ng customer dun sa product mo. So, comp competition-based pricing is a great first step in finding the best possible selling price for your product because it is easy to understand and to calculate. All you have to do is look at the competitors in your market and find the average price they use for their services. From there, uh, you can choose whether to go with the lower or higher price or align with customers' expectations. Pero syempre, meron din itong disadvantage which is limited flexibility. Kasi sa gantong pricing method, nakafocus ka lang sa pricing ng ibang company or ng competitors mo. Nakafocus ka lang sa ilalatag nilang prices and ikaw, nakakalimutan mong i-consider yung ibang factors na kailangan mo ring intindihin and gawin. So, yun lang. Thank you for uh, having us tonight. So that is the three major pricing strategies. Para sa ating mga viewers, I hope na marami kayong natutunan sa gabing ito. See you again tomorrow. This is Tito Boy in Tonight with Boy Abundant. Sila, bigyan sila ng Bona Kid Preschool 3 Plus for a triple boost advantage in growth, energy, and immunity. Mag 3 Pataas Mag Bona Kid Preschool 3 Plus Patang may laban Kay moms, pag 3 Pataas na sila, bigyan sila ng Bona Kid Preschool 3 Plus for a triple boost advantage in growth, energy, and immunity. Alam kong matagal ang commercial time sa channel na ito. Ilipat muna ako sa iba.